Magandang araw mga kasangkayan panibagong araw panibagong vlog na naman. Today's content is about cooling process and function. A chiller work on the principle of vapor compression or vapor engravings, as the heat transfer takes place, the refrigerant evaporates, changing from a low pressure liquid into vapor, while the temperature of the process coolant reduces, the refrigerant then flows to a compressor, which performs multiple functions. Chiller components Chiller consists of four basic components, an evaporator, a compressor, a condenser and an expansion unit. Every chiller system contains a refrigerant. The process starts with a low-pressure refrigerant and even the evaporator. The two main types of chiller are vapor compression chiller and vapor absorption chiller. The chiller system, a chiller or calling water circulation device as known is a general term for a device that controls the temperature by circulating the liquid such as water or heat medium as a cooling liquid, whose temperature is adjusted by the refrigerant cycle. This chiller unit called centrifugal chiller, a centrifugal uses the vapor compression cycle to chill water, it throws the heat collected from the chilled water plus the heat of the compressor to a water loop, the water loop is cooled dead by a cooling tower. Chiller has another two components function an evaporator and condenser line. What is evaporator in chiller? The evaporator collect all the unwanted heat from the building. This is the where chilled water is produced. It's collect the heat, removes it and send the water back out around the building to collect more heat. While condenser function in chiller is an air-cooled condenser uses ambient air to cool and condense the hot refrigerant gas back down to liquid, ultimately it rejects the heat from the chiller to the air. There are three types of condenser. The major types of condensers use are number one water cooled, number two air cooled, and number three is evaporative. Preview. The difference principle of evaporator and condenser, the evaporator works the opposite of condenser. Here refrigerant liquid is converted to gas, absorbing heat from the air in the compartment when liquid refrigerant reaches the evaporator its pressure has been reduced. While condenser principle operation, a condenser is designed to transfer heat from a working fluid, the condenser relies on the efficient heat transfer that occurs during phase change during condensation of a vapor into liquid. Lastly is refrigerant, a refrigerant is a working fluid used in the refrigeration cycle of air conditioning systems and heat pumps where in most cases they undergo a repeated phases transition from a liquid to gas and back again. Bueno kasangkayan until here for now for our short video about kulang system, the next episode is about primary and secondary pumps and its function. Till then mga kasangkayan, if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel, and you will be updated for my next video. Mga kasangkayan maraming salamat sa nakaabot sa dulo ng aking video. Bueno mga kasangkayan. Gracias. Adiós.